We work to highlight notable black figures in our community year round. We are wrapping up February by heading to Newfields, Indiana's premier art museum. So you'll find the new CEO and president, Dr. Colette Pierce Burnett, has been on the job for seven months. And she not only has an impressive resume, boasting an Ivy League education and having been a university president, but she is determined in her leadership to stretch the minds of her team and the community. So some would say that you got this job because you're black and because you're a woman, but we know that you have an extensive resume. Mm -hmm. So I do get that a lot. Um, I've actually gotten letters since I've been in the position. If I was a white male or even a white female, I would be overqualified and people would be asking me why would I take this position? Leadership is leadership. Dr. Colette Pierce Burnett doesn't let anything distract her. I can't give that oxygen. We just have to do the work because if I start focusing on that, I can't focus on meeting the mission of new fields. We're going to be that template cultural institution um, in a very, very grand way. For the seven months she's been president and CEO at new fields, she and her team have been focused on that goal. Despite COVID, America's social justice issues and several PR crises. I did not find racist people. That is not my experience here at new fields at all. We had something tragic that happened to us and we learned from it. We then have an opportunity to grow from it and we become a stronger institution. Museum goers will find newer exhibits like We the Culture and Artists Among Us showcasing the work of Newfield's employees. But what they won't see, all the behind the scenes work. So we're rebuilding ourselves from like a wounded organization because organizations have personalities as well. And the um, DEIA training that everyone, 90 plus percent of our staff went through, um, that's one step towards us becoming an anti-racist institution. But to understand why she's so confident in the museum's new path forward, you have to understand how this executive got to where she is today. So as a child, my mother used to take my sister and I to every museum in Cleveland, Ohio. I remember very vividly not seeing myself in any of those places because I'm a child of the 60s, so I don't remember seeing myself. She has often found herself one of the only and one of the others, and that often inspires the fire in her work today. You know, young people um, in traditionally marginalized populations don't need to be saved. They need good books, good teachers, and exposure. Dr. Burnett lives by the African mantra that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together.